In the past few weeks, I've been testing the new MacBook Pro in different ways and one of them is running Windows. I try exclusive Windows apps like AutoCAD and Revit and even play a few games on it. So quick answer to this video, Windows does work on Mac and in fact, it's worked great for me. But on your side, the experience might be different based on your optimization. So in this video, I will not only show you how Windows perform on the new M5 chip in different scenarios, but also some of my personal tips to make parallels run at its best on your Mac. But before we begin, it's Christmas time again and I'm so happy it is time to give back to my subscriber. I'm going to give away 3 free parallels 1 year license for 3 lucky winners and all you have to do to join this giveaway is comment down below the answer to this question. What game would you use or what application would you use Parallels for? And after two weeks, I would do the run and pick with your username and announce the winners on my Instagram. So if you missed the last giveaway, here's your chance. Good luck and let's get back to the videos. Let's start with some app first. I'm currently using Parallels to run the Windows version of Excel. And honestly, I haven't noticed any difference in performance compared to the native Mac OS version. It's run super smoothly even when opening large Excel files with multiple tabs. Tasks like inserting charts or switching between styles happen instantly. Because applications like Excel mainly relies on RAM and CPUs, so it performs really well under Parallels. Very snappy, almost identical to running it natively. But you might ask, even there is a Mac version of Excel, why don't I just use that? Well, I know that, but the Mac version doesn't offer the full set of features. At a basic level, they are pretty similar, but if you are someone like me who work with a lot of data importing, you will definitely feel the pain. The Mac version has very limited data sort compared to Windows and my favorite features like Power Pivot don't even exist on Mac. It is the same story with Windows exclusive application. A lot of people I know that really want to experiment Mac OS from their Windows, but just because a lot of their work depends on CAD software that only run on Windows, so for that reason, they can't switch. And if you're one of them, the good news is you can now run it through Parallels. I also test some popular apps like AutoCAD and Revit and they work quite well. I'm not a pro user of these apps to be honest, but based on my tests, opening files, panning, zooming, and doing some basic drawing, everything feels smooth and responsive. Revit takes a bit longer to open files and is not battery smooth, but it's definitely usable. You can still open complex projects, use different tools and make edits without major issue. I know the optimization and performance aren't comparable with the Windows laptop at the same price, but in terms of convenience, parallels win. I do some research and to get the same performance and spec on a separate Windows machine, you would spend around 800 to 1000 bucks. So instead of that, having both systems in one device just makes more sense to me. It saves both time and money. The best thing in Parallels works just like a regular app. You can open it whenever you need without any rebooting or tricking. You can use this full Windows desktop or switch to coherent mode to launch Windows app directly from your Mac dock. Everything just works together very smoothly. So that is the test for people who use Parallel to work, but what about gaming? I know a lot of people use Parallel to play game, including myself. I totally agree that Parallel isn't the best way to run Windows games on a Mac compared to crossover, but sometimes it is the only way. Some games just don't work on wine, crossover, or whiskey because of their anti-cheat system. For example, Destiny 2 use Battle Eyes and currently it's only work on Parallels. That is because Crossover and all the white wrapper are just compatibility layer. They don't give you a full window setup with proper driver like Parallel does, so they can't get past the anti cheat system. So if your game doesn't work on Crossover, you can try with Parallels. There's a very good chance it will run here just fine. So what would be the ideal Mac to run both Windows and Mac OS smoothly? I think there will be two scenarios. If you're on a budget, the base MacBook Pro with the M5 chip is honestly a great selection. The speed and performance are solid, more than enough for everyday use and light window work. But if you got some extra budget, I would definitely recommend upgrading the RAM. That is the one thing you can change later. And it's make a big difference, especially if you plan to keep your Mac for another four to six years. More RAM means better in multitasking. And since you will be running two operating system at the same time, 
time, it's good to have that extra headroom. So yeah, that is my take on the new MacBook Pro M5. If you're new here and you really want to install and optimize parallel on your Mac, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial. So the first thing to do is click the first link under this video and choose the plan that works best for you. It could be either the standard or pro edition, depending on what you are planning to do with your Windows. If you are just using light apps like Excel or Word, the standard edition is perfectly fine. But if you are running some things more demanding like AutoCAD, Revit, or game that rely on GPU renderings, then the Pro Edition makes a lot more sense. And once you decide, just click Buy Now. Before filling out your info, make sure to enter my personal discount code on the screen and hit Apply to get 50% off. This is an exclusive discount code and it's only valid until the end of this month, which is November. So if you've been waiting for the big discount event, this is the best time to buy it. And by the time you are watching this video, this code is invalid. You can check the pin comment for the latest update discount code. It could be 25% or 35%. So I'll make sure you get the best deal as possible. All right, back to the installation. Once you complete your purchase, you will get the installer file. Click on it to start the setup. And in just a few seconds, you'll see the panel where you can choose which OS to install on your virtual machine. We gotta select Windows 11 and hit continue and then install. And that is pretty much it. The process is automatic and it will take you about 15 minutes to finish. Now, before you start installing anything, we're gonna go through the VM configuration to make sure it runs at its best. So shut down your VM first and then open the control center. Click the gear icon to open the configuration settings. Parallels has a few presets for you to choose from. Just pick one that best fit on your workflow and hit OK. Now head over to the option tab. This is where you can customize everything about your virtual machine from startup and shutdown behaviors to fire and app sharing. Everything here is pretty straightforward. So take a few minutes to go through X settings and change it to your liking. Now the most important part, the hardware tab. This is where you decide how much CPUs and RAM you want to allocate on your VM. If you leave it automatically, Parallels usually set it to around 6 CPUs and 8 gig of RAM, which still leave enough headroom for macOS to run smoothly in the background. But if you like me and usually focus on one OS at a time, you can switch to manual and allocate more CPUs and RAM to get better performance. That is pretty much how I set up a new VM. You can follow the same step and see how it's worked for you. And if it's not performed the way you want, you can always go back and change it later. That is the beauty of using a virtual machine. You can experiment, make change, and even mess around without affecting your actual computer. So go ahead and try and let me know in the comment what do you think and should you have any question. And don't forget to join the giveaway. It is so easy to win. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.